Oh. Hmm? Oh? <coughs> you really think you could escape me? It's two against one, Red. You can't defeat us on your own. Oh, I know. And that's exactly why I have a secret weapon. You mean that ray gun? <laughs> that's a play toy compared to these bad boys. <laughs> no, my secret weapon is much scarier and lizardy. Mm, lizardy? Cyan, you're one of us! Why are you chasing us? This is the only way! Now that I have you right where I want you, I'll use this secret formula to turn you into giant beasts that will take over the world! No! Don't do it! Hiya! Cyan, what the heck are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Come on! This way! No, 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 no! <laughs> In here! <sighs> you really had us fooled for a second there, Cyan. Yeah, I seriously thought you were going to let Red capture us. Well, I was at first, but then Red brought out this, and I saw my chance, and I took it. <laughs> oh, I don't understand <laughs> what's happening. Let me start from the beginning. Before I was a monster, I was a detective. Me and my brother were head detectives of our station. And that might sound exciting to you, but we were always pretty bored since there was hardly any crime around our area. Until one day... Detectives, <gasps> it's urgent. A busload of children have gone missing at Play Place. You hear that, sis? Loud and clear. Finally, something exciting! I'm so happy that busload of children went missing! Come on, you! Uh, uh, detectives? <gasps> You're right. Uh, yeah. uh, of course, it, we're detectives. You can count we're on very us. professional. Uh, right. Report back as soon as you find anything. Sir, sir yes, yes, sir. sir. <laughs> 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 Ryan, did you see that? See what? I thought I saw something over there. It's probably just your mind playing tricks on you. <sighs> This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Wait, what was that? What? This! Ah! Not cool, Brian! <laughs> I nearly peed myself! <laughs> you should have seen your face! <laughs> Good evening. What are you doing in my play place? <gasps> now, that's no way to greet your host. <laughs> what was that? An, an alien or something. It can't be an alien. Aliens don't exist. Then how do you explain that big-headed red freak? You two need to work on your manners. <gasps> First, you take off running without even introducing yourselves. Then you insult me. W what are you? That doesn't matter. What matters is which of you I'll be transforming into a monster. <gasps> You'll do nicely. <gasps> No! Let my sister go! Brian, run while you can! I'm not leaving you! Now, now, now. What shall we do with you? Red experimented on me. <laughs> and he used his evil transformation chambers to turn me into... a monster. <laughs> Excellent. You look terrifying. What have you done to me? Not so fast. You will serve me from now on if you want to make sure your brother Brian stays alive. Brian, where is he? Let's just say he's in a secure and safe place. Breaking news. Detective Brian was arrested recently for displaying psychotic behavior. In other words, 
He's Gone Mad, Detective Brian's psychotic behavior first appeared after returning from Play Place after a night of investigation. Th that Play Place is full of monsters! I'm telling you, there was this giant red monster that attacked us! <laughs> sure there was. No, it's true! That monster took my sister Shelly! We have to go rescue her! Detective Shelly was also at Play Place, but she is now missing. And it is suspected Detective Brian has something to do with her disappearance. Brian has since been transported to a local mental asylum, where he will spend the rest of his life. Ugh, you'll pay for this! Fight me and you'll never see Brian again. Even if you escape, you can't save him. Or you can serve me, and perhaps if you behave well, I'll help you save your brother. I didn't like to admit it, but he was right. I only had one option. Fine, I'll serve you. I thought you'd say that. Red forced me to do all kinds of horrid things, like chase down children, hunt anyone who wandered in uninvited, all sorts of messed up stuff. Even though a part of me was disgusted by it all, the monster part of me also enjoyed it. And that terrified me. I thought I would never see Brian again, until one day, I saw my chance. <laughs> yes, yes, this is it! Just a touch of Chemical X, and... <laughs> I finally did it! What is it? A secret formula that will turn anyone it touches into a giant beast. I can use this to destroy Oddworld and take over the planet. This was it! If I used this formula on myself, I could definitely break out of here and rescue Brian! Uh, why don't you use it on me? No, I need you here by my side. But those idiots blue and green will do nicely. Let's go pay our rainbow friends a visit. Uh. Oh, we're so sorry, Cyan. You've lived a tough life. That's okay. But now I must take this to save my brother. Don't do it. You don't know what it'll do to you. If it will save Brian, it's all worth it. Uh huh? Hmm? Oh. Oh? Ah! No! Ha <laughs> 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 Something on my face? Don't move. Huh? Did you say I should move? No! Too quiet. Ah! No, no, please don't eat me. Brian, it's me, Shelly, your sister. Shelly, what happened to you? It's a long story, but come on, hop on my shoulder. We're getting out of here. Get back here, Cyan! You belong to me! <laughs> what you gonna do about it? I... I... <laughs> you were saying... take you up for some fresh air. Ah! I'm good, thanks. Uh, please put me down. <laughs> be careful. One wrong move and you could slip and fall to your death. Wouldn't that be a shame? Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
Thanks for the ride, but this is my stop. See you never! Ow! <clears throat> Smart thinking, but brains can only get you so far. Now, any last words? Yes? Why are you attacking me? Huh. Because you owe me something, and I'm here to get what I deserve. I don't understand. Allow me to explain. Before you turned me into this ugly monster, I was just a normal pterodactyl. Woohoo! This is so fun! Come join us, brother. Uh, I don't know. It looks dangerous. Don't be such a whip. Come on. Uh, okay. Are you okay, son? I'll never learn how to fly, father. <laughs> what kind of pterodactyl doesn't know how to fly? Are you sure you're not a T-Rex in disguise? Ignore your brother and sister. They're only teasing. But they're right. I'm not a real pterodactyl. I don't even know how to fly. You will learn to do it someday. You just need to remember to never give up. The T-Rex is here! Quick, everyone, get out of here! Uh. Hurry, son, fly! I can't do it! Ah! Father. Father! Take your brother! Now get out of here! No, we won't leave you! Don't worry, son. You'll be okay. <gasps> this is all your fault! Sis, don't blame it on him. He didn't do it on purpose. Father is gone because of you! Uh, uh, I'm sorry! Sorry isn't good enough. Leave. Oh? I never want to see you again! <laughs> Fine! Brother, no. <laughs> oh, oh, what is this place? Ooh, shiny. <laughs> huh? Oh, come on. I had no idea what the strange gooey stuff was, but it ended up saving my life. I became entrapped in an impenetrable block of goo and was stuck there for eons until the great meteorite that wiped out the dinosaurs struck. The next 84 billion years was a blur. I was conscious the entire time as the world and time changed all around me. Eventually, I ended up at a dinosaur museum for display. People would come and go every day, and they had no idea I was still alive in here, conscious and awake. Then one day, a strange figure appeared. I assumed he was just some creepy guy who liked hanging out at museums, but he would come back every day for weeks until one night. What a perfect specimen for my experiment. Don't worry, you're in good hands. I highly doubted it, and I was right not to believe you. You took me to Play Place and melted me down from my goo prison. For the first time in billions of years, I was free. <coughs> Wait, you're alive? I did not see that coming. I am alive. <coughs> Who are you? I'm Red of the Rainbow Friends. And I'm going to turn you into my flying pet pterodactyl monster. <laughs> what? You can't do that. Besides, I don't even know how to fly. What kind of pterodactyl doesn't know how to fly? <laughs> no matter. I'll soon fix that. You experimented on me, tortured me, turned me into this hybrid helicopter pterodactyl monster. <laughs> You're perfect. I'm hideous. Exactly. You'll serve me well. Are you serious? I'm not serving you. What? But you should be under my control. Did I calculate incorrectly? My mind is billions of years old. A puny experiment like this isn't enough to make me your servant. Finally, freedom! Oh, down, boy. Let me go. I just want to be free. You belong to me. You'll never be free. I began to fall. And I had flashbacks of that first time I tried to fly and failed. It was going to happen again. But then I heard my father's voice. You'll 
just need to remember to never give up. I won't give up, Father! After I escaped Play Place, I fled to the jungle where I lived for a few months. I couldn't find any friends because there was no dinosaurs left, and all the remaining animals were terrified of me. The only comfort I got was through flying, but one day, that came crashing to a stop as well. Huh? <gasps> ah! How can I fly now? I hated to admit it, but I needed you if I wanted to fly again, so I returned to Play Place. And here we are. Now fix it. <laughs> you break in here, attack me, and expect me to help you. In your dreams. I think you need a break to cool down. You'll never get away with this. I already have. No! Those are mine! I made them. I can take them away. No! <laughs> and if I recall correctly, you said you couldn't fly without them, right? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm, then you don't mind if I let you go. <gasps> please, please don't do this. I'll go back to serving you. I'll do anything if you just let me live. No way. I can't trust you now. It's a shame, really. Orange and Cyan were looking forward to having another dinosaur join the team. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. Never give up. Father! I'll never give up, Father. <laughs> I'm flying! I did it, Father! What the? I'm not your father! I'm not talking to you, you tomato-faced weasel. I'm talking to my father. I hope I did you proud. You think this is over? I'll rip you apart, piece by piece! I'm so bored. Do you want to play a game of cards? No, I want to do something exciting. Something that will actually get my blood pumping. What was that? Hmm, let's go check it out. Ah! Who could have done this? Over there, quick, get after him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't your mother ever tell you about not jumping into strange random portals? But he murdered Red. We have to avenge him. I vote we go. Me too. Huh. I'm surrounded by idiots. Fine, let's go. Where are we? Mm, I have no idea, but it seems like we're in space. <laughs> oh no, I can't be in space. I'm afraid of heights. Seriously? That's the least of our concerns. Look, the portal's disappeared. We're stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Guys, calm down. Come on, maybe there's someone else on board the ship. I'm sure there's a way back to play place. How are you going with that navigation task, huh? Doing fine, thank you. Hmm, that's exactly what an imposter would say. <sighs> that's also exactly what a crewmate would say, Jeff. <gasps> what was that? 
Let's go check it out. What are those things? What do you mean, things? I could say the same about you. You look like a sugar-coated potato. Me? You're the one that looks like a disinfected octopus. What does that even mean? I don't know. Guys, please, let's calm down. We both look pretty strange. Can we agree with that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. So, who are you guys and what are you doing on our ship? Well, we're the Rainbow Friends. Makes sense. Because they're so colorful. I can see that. Someone murdered our friend, Red, and we followed the murderer here through a portal. Hmm, well, that makes sense. There is an imposter on this ship. Like a murderer? Exactly. But who could it? Uh, I'm scared. Ah! It was Banana. I saw you. How did you see if it was dark? Sounds to me like you have imposter vision. <gasps> How dare you accuse him of that? It was clear you were the one that killed Orange. Uh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, I forgot you're new to this. Uh, well, basically, every time a body is reported, we have a meeting to discuss who we think the imposter is. Don't worry, you'll get the gist of it. Let's not forget, everyone, that these murders started happening when these strangers appeared on our ship. Coincidence? I think not. You're accusing us? How dare you, Blue? Let me at him. Please, it can't be us. We saw the murder happen. That's what you want us to think. Yes, it is what I want you to think. Guys, if we continue like this, we'll get nowhere. It's like my mama always said. If you don't have anything nice to say, say something. Uh... Are you sure you got that right? Yeah! Come on, let's just do our task. Fine, we'll soon discover who the real murderer is. Yes, we will. So, you're also purple, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna kill me, right? Of course not, I... What the... What a nice day. You murderer. <gasps> what the? So, it's come down to one of us, huh? I still can't believe any of us are killers. Is that so? Playing dumb, are we? You're the dumb one if you actually think I'm the imposter. You're the dumb one, you, you dumbo? Ugh, that's it. I'm taking you down. Bring it on. Guys, look at this, you dummity bumbo. Huh? What is it? I found this in the vent. We knew someone who wore something like this. But no, it's impossible. Ah, I'm scared. Follow my voice, Jeff. Banana, where are you? Banana? My Jeff, my beautiful, beautiful Jeff. They took you too soon. Oh, how could this be? How? Ooh, a teddy bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. Huh? What's that noise? Is that your heartbeat? Are you alive? Are you Uh, 
Uh, I can explain. You? You're alive! But how? We saw your dead body! Oh, that was easy to fake. A little ketchup did the trick. But why would you do all of this? I did it for you, Green. For me? What made you think I wanted all this? Don't you remember? You were in the break room and you said you were so bored. <gasps> so wait, you planned all this just so we wouldn't feel bored? That's so... Sweet. Uh, I was thinking more like insane. You killed Purple, Orange, all these Anderson Among Us players. How did you even do it? Well, it wasn't that hard. All I had to do was build a robot, make a portal gun, hash a quick plan to get you to the ship in the Among Us world, and plan my murders. I'm uh, speechless? I believe the word you're looking for is thank you. Red has truly lost his mind. Yeah, but he was right. I'm definitely not bored anymore. 